Charlotte Moss is an artist who's based in Paris. She's been based there since 2008 now. What fascinates me about her is that she has a, a very much a photographic practice and a sculptural practice. Those two ways of looking at the world converge and mingle. It's an interesting process to think about how you make a work because maybe you have an idea first and then you, you develop that, or, but here it was much more react to a space and then find something within the collection to kind of think about how you might develop an exhibition. I think this idea of potentiality of this kind of white cube space um, was very much um, an important part of this kind of conversation with the building and also with Lee and Orfini because obviously the tapestries, backdrops, are spaces of projection too. And so um, there's this whole question of the space of projection. Elm Green and Drag Set um, images really do enable that kind of, for me, that space of projection and um, yes, this idea of um, the different architectural types that constitute a white cube. What is the right space to show works within? I think that's a, a big question which connects us to Brian O'Dirty um, and Solowit is very important because he was also good friends with Brian O'Dirty and um, there is a very close relationship to the sense of the wall and the, the kind of materiality of the wall. Because we met in Ireland, we have had this dialogue about this incredible writer and artist, Brian O'Doherty, over a number of years now. And he wrote this important text called Inside the White Cube that really interrogates the ideology and the structure of a white cube and what that means to be ex exhibiting in a white cube, what it implies, what it... Uh, and that is something that Charlotte is constantly thinking about in the way she builds her exhibitions. Um, and we wanted to really bring that out in the exhibition somehow. There are a number of her interventions in this exhibition. Um, one is called Letting Light In, which has been a destruction of a uh, part of a wall. And that same space is then also completely overloaded with every single possible light fixture in the museum. And this is called Adding Light. In the exhibition, there is also an aspect of Charlotte's work that's, that's included, which is her photographic practice. The question is, what is the difference between being in a museum where thing, art has been organized for the public to enjoy it, and the difference between in your own home and how you surround yourself with um, artworks that you may enjoy. It's a much more contemplative, perhaps a slower way of living with art. I was just very struck by the history of the mur mural. You know, it's a mural which reveals Mosteles from the countryside and it's changed into urban, the urban city that it is today. And so, um, and it was painted in 1976 by the twins. I thought it would be a very interesting thing to actually examine the mural through a kind of a photographic process and to bring it into the space here. Inside the White Cube is a film which is actually set in this building um, and it really features the staircase as the prominent kind of um, centre. At the same time I was thinking a lot about Leonor Fini's kind of costumes and this kind of very um, strange mix between animal and human and this idea of transformation um, going back to other references such as the cross um, dresses secret which is a book by brian o'dirty which is also about forms of transformation um, and then you think about the staircase as a piece of architecture but also a kind of animal so there's always this um, kind of movement between um, two opposites in a sense <laughs> 